Hello, this is the Knotman, and today, on this lovely fine day like today, I'm going to do some magnet fishing with the team. Me and Clive, alright, we're going to do some magnet fishing down by the river down there by Stour. I've been looking at the Alden survey map and I've seen some really interesting places, so let's go magnet fishing, people. Let's try and find ourselves some stuff. Come on, let's go. on it, I'll tell you that now. Nothing so far. Oh, there's a little bit of iron on there, but not much. Let me just take the uh, green off of it. It's quite weedy here, Clive. But there might be something down here underneath if I can just get low enough. No, nothing there at all, but we shall endeavour to carry on. I'm just going to move along here a little bit. Looks like it's fractured the magnet a bit there in the top corner. Wow. Right, okay, okay. Well, let me clean this off and I'll take another couple of shots out there, Clive. Yeah. I'm going to do a bounce on the bottom, Clive, just see if there's any scrappy bits falling off the edge. Yeah. No, no joy so far. I'm going to try and get into that clearing over there, yeah, on the other side of that tree branch, yeah. Yeah, you never know of magnet fishing, what you're going to find. I mean, a few weeks ago I was out with Clive, we haven't put the film up yet, we found some good stuff, you know. Spanners and that sort of stuff. Probably engineers have dropped them, but here, nothing so far, but we will uh, keep going. You never know. It's a bit like um, people who go metal detecting. Uh, my old friend Drummond does that, and you never know. Uh, it's a bit of flaky old iron, but not much. Not much. I might move on a minute. I might try just one more bit at the other end up where you're filming now, just to see. So, um, it might be one of those days we don't find nothing, and then you might find like a, a bar of gold or something. You never know your luck, yeah? So, let's try up here. So much not weed and river weed here. But it might be hiding a treasure. Oh yeah, a nice day in the sun. What I could do with Clive is a nice ice cream or a pint of cider. Hey? How about that? Mmm, a nice glass of cider would the world a good, yeah? And a fine maiden to play the afternoon playing bowls with or something. But I've got you, Clive. Oh, a couple of bits of uh, ionised metal there. It's not too bad, is it? Look at that. So, I think I'm going to do a little bit more in this spot, actually. Take that off there. Put that on the deck there. It's a start. It's a family fortune. One day, I'm hoping to get a boat. Get like um, a sea kayak. A friend of me, my friend John, uh, go out into a place called Paul Harbour, which is in Dorset, and um, we, we hope to uh, take it on the river. They're not that expensive now, sea kayaks. This feels quite heavy. This quite heavy indeed, actually. I wonder what's 
There's something on here. Probably more weed. Oh, more bits and pieces. More bits of iron. Look at that. It's uh, very nice. Very nice. It's a. Uh... So there seems to be a few bits here. I'll just take this off and have a bit more of a skirt. This is more lucky this side. Lucky old iron. The step toe would say. Any old iron, any, any old iron. Right. See, sometimes it's always in the corners where things fall. Not always in the middle. You, it's, you never know. And as I said before, you feel like a jerking movement on the line when you think you've got something. A heavy jerk is what you get, yeah? Um, yeah, I, I can always tell by the jerking movement whether I'm just about to get it or not, but you know, I can't tell now. We're bouncing, as I said before, we like to bounce along the bottom. Yeah, the bottom's the best place to bounce on, really. I think, uh, yeah. Oh, it seems quite heavier again, but I think we, oh, we caught like half the jungle. Oh, yeah, look at this. More weed on here. Let's just turn it over, man. Oh, a few more bits there. So there's iron, but there's not any um, real treasure. But it's a start, isn't it? Clive, I think we should might move on to another location, but we might come back here later. But so far, now I'm going to bag all this up so there's no waste. We mustn't leave waste around no more, that's rules. But it's a wonderful day, and where's that cider? Right, follow me, Clive. Let's do a bit of tidying up and move on. Clive, I don't want to frighten you, but I haven't shaved my beard since the lockdown. There you go. Woo! Come on, Clive, do you want a bit of salad? Come on, how about a bit of cheese and that? Very nice, very nice. You don't want it, okay. I'll give back to the birds then. Right, let's move on, Clive. More of an adventure to come. Let's go forth and make our millions. Yeah, I thought I'd just try the middle, Clive, before I moved on. You never know your luck, do you? Oh, I've got a bit of a jerker down there. Look at that, it's jerking. A right and a left hand jerking, so I can feel it like bobbing. Okay, what have we got down here then? Oh, more weed. More weed, and it, it's oh, stuck on the. What have we got here? More weed. Oh, look at that. And there's a bug. Look, there's a little bug there. And a bit of iron. Oh. There's the bug there, better put that back, we can't, uh, we can't, look at that little bug and nice piece of iron there, look at that. So, I'm going to put that in my bag, look, because we don't leave nothing behind now. What we do, we take everything away with us, so that's in the bag with all the other bits, so I've got the other bits in there. I'm just going to take the weed off and, uh, I'm going to hook the bug off. I think it's like a, ooh, ooh, ooh. yeah, he's on there, he's on the weed, the bug, I'm going to chuck him back into the river. He's probably gone back to his mother. Right, let's move on, Clive. I've got the bag for the bits, and uh, I think we'll try around that walkway way around there, yeah? Clive, there's a little uh, bit here. Let's try this bit here. Try not to fall in. Well, it's a bit muddy. I've got my nice trainers on as well. Oh, dear. Well, this is nice. I don't know if you can get a nice shot of this. It's a nice part of the river, so I'm going to cast off now, as we say. That's old sailors. Right. There might be something. This is obviously where fishermen come. So let's have a... Oh, it's quite deep in the middle. Probably about a metre and a bit. This is what they call a swim. And that's what fishermen have. They have a location and they call it a swim. And they have the rights to like fish in this one area. I don't think this is an overnight camp here, but people obviously come here in the day and fish. But luckily, because of the virus, we were able to come to the river and uh, not upset the anglers. I'm actually thinking this summer, if anyone's interested, oh look, one bit of metal straight away. Look at that. And what's that? Uh, yeah, look, uh, what's that? A hoof? What's that? Look at that. Piece of wire and a bit, and that's the first cast. So I'm going to put that on the floor there so I can take back my bag and have the cast. Yeah, later this year I'm hoping. And don't tell too many people. Always invite. I'm thinking about going in deep wreck sea fishing. I've got a couple of sea rocks at home. I'm thinking about going off to some wrecks I know of, yeah? I don't mean my life. I mean ones in the ocean. And um, taking like Sahara Night and Ash and Big Lee, maybe even Drummond if we wheel him out of bed, and go off for a deep wreck fishing day. That should be fun. Right, it's... Uh, 
my uncle Tony, um, no, nothing this time, but, oh, a couple of little bits of odd bits on the side here, but not much. I'm going to fire out that way and then try and drag it in. He used to go to, my uncle Tony used to go to Portugal, lovely country Portugal is, and they used to go shark fishing off the coast, um, on the silver coast just above uh, Lisbon. He used to charter a boat for a couple of days and he caught some good sharks, yeah, not like great bikes, but hammerheads but just standard shark. I think we caught a Marco once or a white tip but nice, nice. As usual I had the pictures as a kid and guess what viewer I managed to lose them. <laughs> so uh, oh there's a dragonfly down there. Come down here Clive. See look there's like a dragonfly in the water. Looks like he's look there he is. His little dragonfly. Is that a walking stick hanging out of the dirt there? Wow. Well, who knows? Oh, look at that! Hey, I didn't even see that. I was too busy talking about the dragonfly. That's a really old, like, arr, me old shit, mate. Well, it's like a, like a hook or something. Arr, arr. I wouldn't put that in my mouth. Right, once the dragonfly's uh, done whatever he's done, he actually, yes, he's doing really well in the water. Right, but I'm going to have another cast up over there. Hey, Clive, do you know what that is? That plant there is a comfrey. Now, I'll tell you about them. This can be made into a special herbal tea, yeah, which comforts the body and gives got very, very, very good healing in it. This is very good. It's really, really oldy worldy. I haven't seen one of these in ages. They only really come on riverbanks. The old comfrey, yeah, very nice little flower. They have these little snow droplets. Very nice, actually. Um, I wouldn't mind a cutting of that, but I can't take one today. But very nice for the uh, nature. Really nice to see it today. So quite and good for the stomach as well. If you have digestion or diarrhea, one of those horrible ones, you can have some of this and it's really nice. Look across there. Clive, pan your camera, look out there. That's beautiful. Well, what we'll do is we're gonna move oh there's a lot of dragonflies here and things today. What we'll do is we'll move on in a moment to uh, another one of these uh, fishermen swims and we'll see what we can find there, because we might find some hooks. We should really take the hooks out of the water if they're not being used. Very dangerous, very dangerous indeed. Let's see if we can hook this out. Oh. Right. No, there's nothing here, Clive. We've had a good run. I think it's time to move on up the river a bit more and uh, live nature and take its own course here. We've done enough now, and let's move on up. So. Let's pick up these bits and pieces. I've got to put them in the bag. It mustn't leave anything behind. I'll put this in my bag and we'll move on. Hey, yeah. There's a stinging nettle there. Now, I'll tell you something about these. People don't like them because they get and give you like a nasty shock and sting. But I'll tell you what, they're very good. If you've got an allergy, right, you pick very careful the top off here and you can boil that into a tea and the parts of that leaf do actually help the immune system. Now, my auntie used to be really into herbal stuff and she used to have loads of nettles and as a child I used to hate them but she used to make this really nice brew tea and I tell you what what it's got in it is good for you so all this here all this wildlife people just pass aside and not interested is actually all very good for you if you know what it is right Clive let's move on to the next location hi Clive I don't know if you're interested but look at this poor willow tree it's been like axed in the middle look it's, it's probably through infection or bad weather but look it's been really in the middle of the piece spiking up that's like been hit like the Battle of Agincourt the Axemen who wiped out the French look at that it's been like totally totally chopped beautiful old tree in the day you always see them along the riverbanks but poor old tree right let's move on yeah there's loads of other trees to look at so I'm sure we're going to get into them as well look there's loads over there on the horizon so let's get going um, nature cool. Clive I'm just going to have a look down it looks a bit weedy actually and we don't want to lose the magnet but um, Well, actually, there's a bit of a pool of water here. So what I might do is just, lots of dragonflies here. Look at the wildlife here. They're damselflies, actually. So um, there's some bugs down there. I might just do some bobbing in this region here. I, I don't want to cast out there because you can see out with the dragonflies and the blue moths and that. There's a lot of weed and we don't want to get to it. But I might just bob this bit here. There's, there's probably not fine anything, but hey ho, you never know luck. So I'm just going to get my magnet and go back down there, yeah? Yeah, it's very warm. I can almost taste a beer or something coming on. Right, let's do a wee bit of bobbin. 
let's get let's get the old hangman on the iron so we don't lose it. Though we're not actually going to cast it out. Safety is the most important thing. We don't want to lose this. Right, so she's on. Let's take a bit of slack up. I don't like lots of slack. I like things to be tight, you know. Get the old get the old strength on it, yeah. Right, let's do a bit of bob and botting and let's see what happens here, yeah. in the deck there. Oh it's quite deep, it's gone down. It's gone down a good half a metre or something, so just let me have a, just a, a bob. <sighs> Nothing there, but I'm gonna have another bob over there, yeah? So watch the splash of the lens, yeah? What's these dragonflies around here? We've really disturbed their environment. Right, okay, so let's... Um, We've done a bit of bob in there, let's uh, bring her up here. Bob, 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 bob in. Right, let's see what's down here. Nothing at all. I'm going to another bob further out there towards those reeds. That over there. Right. Look at the bubbles. Right, let's wheel it in. Bob, 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 bob. A little bit of a branch again. Let's bob down the bottom. It's quite deep here. Right. Oh, oh, look at that. It's a part of a, a, a lock or a bolt and there's another, no, it's not a creature, it's a bit of iron. Look at that though, eh? Part of a farmer's gate or something, eh? Must be part of a five. Well, that's the best farm we found all day. I'm still not buying your drink, or well, maybe later. Well, that's nice. Right, okay, well, probably nothing here now. I'm gonna move on to another spot and uh, see what you can see. So look at the environment, it's lovely here, isn't it? Clive, uh, I want to tell you something else. I do a lot of mud checking as well, mud diving, and this is what I do. I also like to do magnet fishing, and I'm into history. So I'm going to take my shoes off. See my trainers here? I'm going to take them off. I'm going to have a quick look because in the Thames in London, when the water level drops, a lot of people I know go to London and go along the mud flats and look for stuff. Now you can see the tides dropped here a little bit, so I'm going to take my shoes off, have a bit of a skirt around because sometimes you find the odd thing, as long as I don't tread on a bottle. So let's get my shoes off. Clive, it's a shame you weren't doing this, but um, one of us has to be a hero. Yeah. Oh, it's, oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, my old foot, look at that. I tell you what, it's really nice treading on sharp stones. I'll tell you that for nothing. Yeah, this isn't the normal way I'd do it, because normally we'd be in mud. But this is hard going as it's stone, so I have to go very careful because I've taken the shoes off. So I'm just going to have a quick skirt around. Clive, just keep the camera on me a bit. There may be something here, may not. So let's venture. And if you hear me scream, get an ambulance, will you? Oh, it's lovely and cool and refreshing. All right, let's have a little look around here. See if there's any... Clive, can't you come in here and help? It's all right for you standing there. You know, it's me out in the water. Yeah. You never know. Oh, there's an old, there's an old bolt up there. Look at that. Lucky I didn't stand on that. Then I'm gonna chuck that out. Right, what else is under here? Right, it looks like we're on a bit of a roll. Um, nice big boulder. Look at that one. That's a nice one for the garden. Ooh. What's that down there then, Clive? Hey, would you believe it? I found a coin. Look at that. It's a, it's a, it's a. Can you? Uh, this, this is a Queen Victoria. I can't really see it in my eyesight. It's, I think it's 1901. Can you, can you zoom in on that? Now, what is the chances of finding a one penny Queen Victoria coin? Hey man, this, this must be really old, this forge. Well, if there's one, there, there could be another one. I'm going to put this in my pocket now, Clive. And, uh, wow. Wow. Well, this was just under this rock here, this boulder. So, wow. 
and all these ones seem to be down a bit hard. Um, crikey, that was a good find. I'm going to try and work them over there now, yeah? What's that? What's that? What's that? Well, it's a bit of wire, but it's connected to that deep underground. Look at that! It's, I can't pull whatever that is, I can't pull that out. Hey, look at that! There's a bit of wire in there. There's all sorts here. I'm going to just go over there a little bit. I don't know what that is, so I'm going to be very careful. I'll tell you what. Those Aborigines must have tough feet. Normally, I'm in mud, aren't I? Well, I can't believe they found the coin, but... There's got to be more. It's got to be. Well, Clive, it's... Uh, it's certainly something, isn't it, yeah? Well, what do you think of the coin? The coin was all right, wasn't it, yeah? Yeah, that means you want another beer. I can see that. You want to go to the brewery later, don't you, yeah? So get some cans. I can see all the bottles. Only have to find something else. Well, that's one thing. No. Right. Okay. Well, I'm going to come out now, man. But I just just want to show you that coin again. So my feet. I've got to dry them off in a minute. But okay, while I'm doing my feet, there's, there's that coin there. Have a look at that, Clive. And I'm going to dry my feet. Oh, yeah? Okay, cut the bowls if you want to tonight.